Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I cry to you all the day long. O Lord, you are good and forgiving, full of mercy to all who call to you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. To prepare ourselves now to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind our sins, asking the Lord to help us to respond to his word, and like the Jews who couldn't, and pray that each and every one of us will be true followers of Jesus throughout our lives. Lord Jesus, you are the light of the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. <coughs> Lord, you care for each and every one of us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers, when I came to you, it was not with any show of oratory or philosophy, but simply to tell you what God had guaranteed. During my stay with you, the only knowledge I claimed to have was about Jesus and only about him as the crucified Christ. Far from relying on any power of my own, I came among you in great fear and trembling, and in my speeches and the sermons that I gave, there were none of the arguments that belong to philosophy, only a demonstration of the power of the Spirit. And I did this so that your faith should not depend on human philosophy, but on the power of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, how I love your law. Lord, Lord how, how I love, I love you. your law. Lord, how I love your law. It is ever in my mind. Your command makes me wiser than my foes, for it is mine forever. Lord, Lord how, how I love, I love you. I have more insight than all who teach me, for I ponder your will. I have more understanding than the old, for I keep your precepts. Lord, Lord how I love you. Lord. I turn my feet from evil parts to obey your word. I have not turned away from your decrees. You yourself have taught me. Lord, Lord how I love you. Lord. Lord. Please stand to greet the gospel. Alleluia. To proclaim liberty to captives. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus came to Nazareth where he had been brought up and went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day as he usually did. 
he stood up and read. And they handed him the scroll of the prophet Isaiah. And rolling the scroll, he found the place where it is written. The Spirit of the Lord has been given to me, for he has anointed me. He has sent me to bring the good news to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, and to, bl- and to the blind new sight, to set the downtrodden free, to proclaim the Lord's year of favor. He then rolled up the scroll and gave it back to the assistant and sat down. And all eyes in the synagogue were fixed on him. Then he began to speak to them. This text is being fulfilled today, even as you listen. And he won the approval of all. And they were astonished by the gracious words that came from his lips. They said, This is Joseph's son, surely. But he replied, (coughs) No doubt, you will quote me the saying, Physician, heal yourself, and tell me, we have heard all that happened in Capernaum, do the same here in your own countryside. And he went on, I tell you solemnly, no prophet is ever accepted in his own country. There were many widows in Israel, I can assure you, in Elijah's day when heaven remained shut for three years and six months, and a great famine raged throughout the land. But Elijah was not sent to any one of these. He was sent to a widow at Zarephath, a Sidonian town. And in the prophet Elisha's time, there were many lepers in Israel, but none of these were cured except the Syrian Naaman. When they heard this, everyone in the synagogue was enraged. They sprang to their feet and hustled him out of the town. And they took him to the brow of the hill their town was built on, intending to throw him down the cliff. But he slipped through the crowd and walked away. The Gospel of the Lord. Paul, writing to the Corinthians, was letting them know how much he believed in the Christ, how much he believed in Jesus, and what Jesus did for them all. He did all he could to try and get into their minds the tremendous love that Jesus has for them. But it was difficult. And as he puts it at the end of the letter, and I did this so that your faith should not depend on human philosophy, but on the power of God. And The gospel, the people there turned on Jesus simply because it tells them that a widow at Zarephath, the Sidonian town, was helped. Elijah helped her. And Elisha, he cured Syrian, the Syrian soldier Naaman. And again, the people didn't like it. They felt that they were being ignored. But what Jesus was trying to tell them, and what Paul was trying to tell the the people he wrote the letter to, how important it is that Jesus loves them all. But many of them could not accept that. They wanted to be special. They wanted to be important. 
But Jesus is always telling them, as St. Paul did, how humble a life we should each live. And in that humility that we do all we can, what Jesus asks of us. And in so doing, we can be sure that we'll be one of the chosen ones for the kingdom of heaven. Let us pray that we'll always try to be humble in our lives, that we don't go around showing off and telling everybody how great we are. When we know deep down we're certainly not. But we do our best with the gifts we have and use them to the best of our ability. That's what Jesus asks for. Let us pray that is exactly what we do. So we stand now for our prayers. We are called by Christ to be a sign of his love for all mankind. Let us pray now for his help and support in all our needs. We pray for Zita de Souza, for whom we're offering this Mass. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for the whole church that guided by the Spirit of God, it may be an active sign of justice and truth to the world. Lord, in your mercy, let us pray for those in authority, that they may be filled with the wisdom of God and may work towards peace and justice for all. Lord, in your mercy. And we pray too for those who are suffering at this time from oppression, that they may find support in Christian people everywhere. Lord, in your mercy, let us pray for all those gathered here, for our families and our friends, that being accepted by society will not hinder us from building a community based on love. Lord, in your mercy, we pray too for all our sick in the parish, and we pray for those who care and look after them. Lord, in your mercy. And let us pray for all those who've died recently in, in the parish and in our families. And ask the Lord to welcome them all into his kingdom. We pray especially today for Josephine Gabriel, who celebrates the fourth anniversary of being called to God. Lord, in your mercy. Let us ask Mary to pray with us and for us as we say together. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Father, hear the prayer we make, trusting in your loving concern. Help us to become a community of caring love. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord.
Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread. We offer fruit to the earth, work of human hands. It'll become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Bless the Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite hearts, may we be accepted by you, O Lord, and may our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash us, O Lord, from our iniquities, cleanse us all of our sins. My friends, pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he entered, endured his passion, which was to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and, give, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Bishop, our clergy, and all our people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Michael and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit for uh, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, formed by divine teaching, we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
us pass the lips of food, O oh Lord, and possess us in beauty of heart and of and act of spiritual communion for those who have joined us online. Lord Jesus, you are present in the most blessed sacrament. We love you above all things. We desire to receive into our souls. And since we cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our hearts. We embrace you as we've already there and unite ourselves wholly to you. Never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted in the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven.
Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and the love of Christ. Thank you all very much and have a nice day.